I struggled with anorexia for over 10 years. I did a lot of damage to my mental, my physical health. I found a love and a passion for fitness and the gym, and that is what saved me and that is what helped me. My name is Anna Heiss, and this is my story. So the very beginning, I was bullied all throughout elementary school, um, mainly about my weight. For a while, it really didn't bug me that much, but as time went on, it started to kind of get under my skin a little bit more. I remember thinking to myself, if I just lost a little bit of weight, more people would like me. I'd have more friends, the bullying would stop. And started labeling foods as good and bad, and it just kind of, snowballed from there. I just kept losing weight and I kept getting comments from teachers and kids at school like you look so good, you look so skinny, like that just kind of fueled it. That made it so much worse because all I wanted to do was keep getting those comments. I wanted to get skinnier. When I was in sixth grade, that was the first time that I was hospitalized. I passed out and was brought up to the ER, was malnourished, dehydrated, because at this point I wasn't eating anything. I wasn't drinking water. I was refusing to eat or drink anything at all. And I remember in the hospital, they told me they would let me go home if I ate food. And I remember them putting down the plate of food in front of me and I just burst out into tears and I just couldn't do it. And I remember thinking like, what is wrong with me? And that was when, basically when I got the diagnosis of anorexia. So I was 18 when I had my last relapse. That was when more of like the medical complications came into play and they sat me down in the hospital and they said, you know that you will have to be on dialysis for the rest of your life if you don't stop this. I feel like my eating disorder just had a hold of me so tight and I wasn't willing to put up the fight. This is where the gym came into play. So when I very first started going to the gym, I was super intimidated by everyone there. I actually used to go at like 4.30 in the morning when it very first opened because I didn't want anyone to see me. But I remember going to the gym a couple times and seeing girls there that looked amazing and they just looked healthy. And like, I always wanted to look that way, but I never thought it would look good on me. Like I thought that I was just supposed to be skinny and I had this label of anorexic. Then slowly over time, I started building confidence in the gym and it was like this new world opened up to me and I was so excited about it and so passionate about it. Something I never thought that I would want to do was something that was motivating me to get out of bed, motivating me to eat, motivating me to gain weight. Outside of the gym my confidence started growing too. I was just, I just held myself differently. I was just a more confident person all around and I mean it wasn't easy to make that switch. I still, in the beginning it was kind of rocky. I pushed through those thoughts and just knew that I was doing something that was healthy. I think my biggest piece of advice is you have to want it for yourself. No one else can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. It's an internal battle and you have to be the one to start that fight and to keep fighting every single day. Weightlifting did save my life and it helped me get out of my eating disorder. 100% I believe that. I've teamed up with Relax Spa and Bath to share my story in hopes that someone who is going through something similar can be inspired to make a change and to let you guys know that there's always hope.